Welcome to Studio One at Flexible Plan Investments. My name is Peter Mothy, and I've got two graphs to share with you today. A topic that we don't cover a lot, just because it's been out of favor for so long. We find in the investment markets, there are fairly long-term trends that, that develop in time. So one of those trends, for example, is commodities relative to stocks. And commodities get underpriced as they are at least historically today relative to stocks and they'll cycle through the years to be to the point where they'll get overpriced relative to stocks. Today I'm going to talk about another one of those long-term trends that we see over time and that has to do with the international markets. Now the first graph I'm going to share with you today shows three different ETFs, exchange traded funds. One is the S&P 500 ETF SPY is the ticker symbol. And I'm going to show that along with the established international markets stock ETF, EFA, and also the emerging markets ETF, ticker symbol EEM. One of the things you're going to see about this first graph is it's a 12-year graph. And you're going to see that even though the U.S. stock market has gone up greatly over the last 12 years, international markets have not. Well, that's one of the reasons why many investors have chosen to exclude this entire asset class from their portfolios. But here's why that should not be done. Because my second graph for you today shows another period of time. This period of time precedes the first graph, and it will show you that there are many year periods where international stocks far outperform domestic stocks. And in this particular graph, just over this short few year period of time, you'll see that the S&P was up a little over 50%. The established international EFA, uh, the inter established international markets were up twice that, and the emerging markets were up three times that. So excluding this asset class from your portfolio is a long-term risk that you won't participate in this asset class. So thanks for joining me today. I'll be back soon.